Hello, BookTube. I'm here to give my thoughts on and talk about a, another series of books that I'm reading this year in 2023. And that is A, uh, a Dance to the Music of Time by Anthony Pohl. Anthony Pohl lived from 1905 to 2000, and uh, there's a series of interconnected books of 12 books uh, that he wrote from 19... Uh, first one, The Question of Upbringing, which I'll be talking about today, he wrote uh, or published in 1951. Now, they're interconnected uh, throughout the 20th century. This uh, this series starts in the early 20s, uh, and it talks about the, the, the manners, the morals, political, military situation of, of England, for the most part, uh, during the 20th century. And it's also classed as a humorous uh, series of books which I don't quite get, to be honest, but uh, I think some of the humor um, it goes by me a little bit, and I think I know why. Uh, like, well, I get it, but I don't find it funny. Let's put it that way. But anyway, um, it's the, the series is, is titled from uh, This is a Panel. These are four. This is a om nice omnibus edition. There's four of them. And it's the panel of a painting by Nicholas Poussin, uh, done in 1636. And it's just, it's literally talking about, the, it, it's showing the season dance. Uh, the, 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 it's the seasons and the music of time. That's what it's called. And it's referenced by the uh, narrator, Nicholas, as well. He's titled Jenkins. And the question of upbringing starts out uh, there in school. Uh, it's a boarding school, uh, English public school, in like 1920-21. Uh, with him and his, his friends, uh, there's there's characters uh, introduced, uh, Temple, and one that's sort of a bit of a uh, uh, topic of derision uh, character who's about a year or so ahead of everybody else that that is, is part of the, the novel, uh, Wind, Windmerpool. <laughs> Wind, Windmer... Wim der Mil Pool. I can't say that name. At least now I can't anyway. But anyway, Windmere Pool. I, if I just do it quickly. <laughs> um, and he he crops up later after after Jenkins, Nick, uh, Nicholas Jenkins leaves school. And um, it begins like the, 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 the first few pages, especially while they're at school, it's 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 really engaging and especially the first couple pages or the first section here, because there is a space. Um, but it, it's, it's the first few pages that are just, I think they're incredibly well written. I really like setting the scene. Uh, and, and at school it's, it's very, very engaging. I, I do enjoy it. Um, as they leave and he, uh, Jenkins is, well, he's, he wants to be a writer. And there are um, interesting uh, little bits in here where the, this Widmer pool says, you know, oh, reading is not, uh, uh, you know, not very good for you. <laughs> um, and like too much reading. Uh, but uh, but, there, but there's, there, there's lots of little things that, 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 Get, get a smile like that i think is funny but it's not i'm not sure if it's meant to that to be humorous but the one character temple is is come he had to go to london for a an appointment but he's coming back on a very late train and the headmaster is not pleased with that saying well what what's happened and he says oh well, there was a delay but he tells his friends that he met a girl uh and then so they're asking him like you know where did you meet in the street do you mean you picked her up? Yes. Fair or dark? Fair. And how was she introduced? Uh, how was the introduction affected? She smiled at me. A tart, in other words. <laughs> Jesus. Um, yeah. Uh, but, uh, it, it, like I say, that all part is very, very good. Uh, and uh, expect like also when Windmere Pool tells him, you know that 
that he uh, doesn't want to, you know, the reading is too much, you know, like you shouldn't read too much. It is bad for you. Uh, but at the same time, um, the, the characters wind up in France uh, after school uh, is, is finished and um, the, the, some of them are going on to university. Uh, a lot of them are, but this Windmere Pool decides not to go to university because he doesn't think it's 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 warranted, and he's going to uh, um, sort of uh, study for, for for the law for the bar. But in the meantime, there's there they wind up in France to learn French, and I, I found it kind of interesting because uh, I shortly after I'd read this, I started rereading Les Miserables. And the one main character is reading Les Miserables uh, by Victor Hugo in French, or trying to. Um, and as I say, it's it, it's it's like it's early days in the story. I, I've I've attempted to read this series a number of times already, uh, and I got derailed at the end of the third book. And I tried, not last year, but I think in twenty twenty, what was it twenty? No, twenty twenty one. I tried again and I got derailed. So this time I'm decided to, to read just one book a month and, and, and do that. So I'm about to uh, get to get set to read the second story, uh, a buyer's market. So hence doing this, this video. Um, as I say, it starts out really good, the school, and then it gets into these interactions with these, like Jenkins is, he wants to be a writer. So he's not from a, rich family but it's comfortable i would say middle class or maybe lower middle class and there's a very rich people yeah there's characters friend temple is very rich or from a rich family and then there's widmer pool who's you know middle class but not the privileged sort of uh upper middle class or or higher um uh, and I guess it's partially these the, the things that I get derailed with is the things that they talk about and the, that are concerned of them just don't interest me so much. They, 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 they're complete airheads and, and like, you know, using modern language or, well, maybe it's 40-year-old language, but either way. Um, but I don't know if that's, see, this is the thing. This could be the plan of Anthony Pohl and showing this uh, throughout the books. So I, I, I want to read this. I am assured that it gets better. Uh, and there, like I say, that Widmer Pool isn't it. See, I said it correctly that time. If I don't think about it, um, Widmer Pool is an interesting character. Uh, to say the least, um, especially him coming out and saying, you know, reading is, is not good for you or too much is not good for you. Um, so I'm, I'm determined to continue. Um, it's just like the last third of the novel really lagged for me. And I, and I remember the other two a little bit as well. But as I say, I am I am determined to, to do this, uh, to read this throughout the year because uh, there's 12 of them once a month. Uh, and I'm sort of doing it in tandem with uh, the uh, uh, Strangers and Brothers, which there's another uh, video. I'll, I'll leave a link uh, below to the uh, the playlist for Strangers and Brothers. So yeah, that's that's my thoughts on um, the first volume of A Question of Upbringing, and I am looking forward to to get through this because I'm really hoping that you know that that it does turn out to be a series of books that i come back to like strangers and brothers i love strangers and brothers so much it's it's the fourth or fifth uh, reading that i'm going through so i'd love to be able to say that i found another one and this is it that i can read uh, as well uh in in the same way so fingers crossed i will know by the end of the well I'll probably know before the end of the year, but I am determined this time to complete it in, in, in one way or another. So, um, anyway, there goes book tube. I'll be back, uh, shortly because I, I am late doing this video, uh, for the first book. Uh, and I, 
I'm doing this early uh, Monday morning and it'll be posted Monday afternoon. So by the time this actually gets posted, I will be mostly done, fingers crossed, the second book. So uh, sometime midweek or later in the week, I'll have the, the, the uh, my thoughts on the second volume, A Buyer's Market. So I'll see you next time. Thank you, Book Two.